to living a sustainable dream and when we first went off grid we really wanted a diesel generator for our backup but diesel generators are very expensive but they're diehards and you don't have to worry about the fuel going bad with the diesel if you keep it airtight and sealed up that fuel can last 20 years so we bought a tractor the tractor has a diesel engine why not get a generator that runs off the tractor and that's exactly what we did so I'm going to hook that up right now it's a 15 kilowatt generator and it charges up the house just fine and it runs everything that we could possibly want while uh, we're charging the battery bank there we go The reason that was so difficult to get on is you have a collar that you have to pull back, kind of like a hydraulic hose, kind of the same setup, and then you got to slide it onto the PTO drive shaft. And if you don't, if you don't get it just right, it just doesn't go. All right, now to start it up. This is our trimetric meter and this is how we kind of judge how we're doing as far as charging the house and the batteries go. Uh, what I did is I took my uh, magnum uh, inverter here and I am doing a AC bypass. So that means the uh, generator that is hooked up to the tractor, the Winco generator, is now charging the house but it's bypassing the inverter. The inverter is not carrying the electricity for the house, the tractor is. So the tractor is going through the main and charging the batteries at the same time. So the inverter is basically just letting it kind of charge up the batteries and it's controlling how much power goes to those batteries. But it's not running the house anymore, the tractor is. Uh, the trimetric meter here is telling us that we are charging. And if I select this here, okay, you'll see we're at 26 volts. We're a 24 volt system. We are now charging at 71.1.2 amps, okay and our battery is 59% full. So I'm gonna let that run for a couple hours, get it up to about maybe 80%, and then I'm gonna just shut it down. Uh, I'm not gonna to top off the batteries tonight. Um, we're going away on a trip, and I just wanna make sure that the fridge and freezer will have enough power to run, as well as the lights and the chicken coop, and our security system around here. So thank you for visiting us at Living a Sustainable Dream. If you wanna visit our website, Visit us at livingasustainabledream.com. And if you want to support our channel or our website, you can shop at our homestead store, which is our off-grid business, popperscandles.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.